All right, my dad's got the 6420 hooked up to the Agco 3309. I got the 4055 hooked up to the new idea 5209. And we're going to start uh, cutting third cutting hay. Um, usually around the 15th of September is when we do a third cut, and it's September 14th, so it's close enough. So, um, I hope I get some footage of it. I brought my GoPro, but I don't know. Might not bring any. I didn't delete those videos from last time. But anyway, I might just get some random GoPro shots of it. And, uh, not GoPro, iPod. And we'll just see how it goes, so we're going to start dropping hay on the ground. Alright, we're probably about 30 minutes into this uh, big uh, 20 some odd acre field. I think it's 24, 25, I don't know. But, um, I don't know. I'm rolling about six and a half mile an hour. I don't know what gear I am in because, as I've said before, the uh, the uh, red little marker wasn't working. Or well, it didn't get it didn't go back to working when we redid the interior kit in this tractor. So, so yeah, there you go. Just running right along. I think my dad might be in D range on that tractor because that is not the C. He's already passed me once. And yeah, once. So uh, we're going to cut this field and then we might go cut a 15 acre field up the road of ours. Just depends on what time we get done. It's like quarter to five right now. So. Oh, we'll just see what it brings. We'll just see what it brings. So, anyway, I'll catch y'all in a little while. All right, we got it done. We got it done. Uh, we're not gonna mow the other field tonight. Um, we're gonna wait till tomorrow. Um, just call it a night right now for now, and then tomorrow we'll drop some more on the ground. Then probably the next day. Drop some more and possibly the next day run some more and then bail it all up this week and then I'll put the end in the hay this year. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll catch y'all later. Alright, so I'm just gonna make a big um, a big uh, what do you call um, uh what's the word? Montage, there you go. Montage of uh, mowing hay. So basically, what we're doing, we're cutting this big, I mean, this big, big 30 some odd acre field. Um, how many acres is this? It's, thir it's over 30, I know. I want to say it's almost 34, 35, something like that. And there's a little land on the other side of the tree across the little creek. That's probably, I don't know, three, four, five acres. We'll cut that too. And so I'm in the 6420. And man, do you have a lot of visible room without this loader. You take this loader off, I, I, I know I made a, I know I made a, in my opinion, video this past winter that said I don't really like the 20 series trackers. But I mean, ever since I took that loader off, I really like this tractor. Um, Cause I mean, you got a lot of visible room without that loader on there. And I mean, and I mean, that's really all I gotta say about it. So I mean, so we're running with it out the loader. We did some service work to it, is why we took it off, and we just haven't really had the need to put it back on. So, we got the 6310 doing the loader work, so why not put this thing, like, on the disc pump? So, my dad's in the 6210 up on the front part right there, and uh, we had to take the 4055 off and put it back on the round baler, because my uncle is going to start baling hay. He's going to bale what we first cut 
at the beginning of this video, if I, if I make the video right, that's how it should be. So what we bailed this first, in the first part, or what we mowed in the first part of this video is now bailed, is now getting bailed today. So this is like over a course of three days. This is the third day cutting hay. So I mean, there you go. So I mean, now we're just mowing right along, and um, I'm get. Uh, I know I say this every so often, but I'm behind on videos. I have this this portion of videos, and I have the Lewis Crozier tractor run video that needs to go up. I have a combine update. I have a combine service in the video it has got to go up. It's not really a service, but it's a service work. Um, as of this recording, a bread, as of this recording, it is September 16th. Um, the, the case case 1660 has got the corn head hooked up. It's ready to roll. It is ready to roll. We're just waiting on dry dry corn to start picking. Uh, we do have the 9660 in the shop right now. We're going to start getting it ready for soybeans. Um, so we got that hay field that we planted in soybeans. Uh, if it wasn't going to rain Saturday, they'd be ready to roll next week. Uh, they're an early 3.5 variety soybean, so that's why. And then the soybean, the other soybeans probably be another three, four weeks. Maybe not even three weeks. Two, three weeks anyway. It just depends on how fast they dry. So, something else on this big field. I feel like moles have destroyed it. Because look, there's no elevation to this field. I mean, there's a little bit, but nothing too, nothing too serious. I mean, you'll have a rise and fall every now and then, but there's no elevation to it. Um, so, in reality, it should be smooth as a baby baby's butt, but is what it should be. But sadly, it's not. So I mean, I'm seeing these dirt. Uh, I'm seeing these uh, dirt mounds every now and again. So it's the same thing that's happened to um, my memo's yard that I mowed. The moles had to completely destroyed it because. When was it? 2010? Yeah. It was 2010. We borrowed our name. We borrowed a guy's big caterpillar tractor and a big feed inline ripper. And we ripped this sucker up. I mean, we went down probably 10, 12 inches with that ripper. So we could bust the hard pan up and bust up all this. Um, bust up all this, uh, what do you call it, uh, ground. Then we took a bit, we, then this was still when we had our big, uh, what was it, thing? big 18 foot Case International disc. We disced it down, we call mulched it. I mean, look, there's those dirt claws I'm talking about. And they could, that could be just from the disc pine uh, skid place skidding the ground, but, well, I believe moles have destroyed this. But anyway, um, so we got it all smoothed down. We reseeded it in wheat, is what we did. We had it in wheat. And then, let's see. I don't know. It was a wheat grass mixture. <clears throat> And the wheat just overtook it. I mean, it was, we, this was the summer, the first summer with the 9660. So, we borrowed, so, well, we uh, combined the wheat off of it. And, uh, combined the wheat and they have a couple loads of straw. And then the grass started to come back up. So, then we cut it that fall. And it had a lot of uh, wheat stubble in it, so it wasn't really, it was mostly bedding hay was what that cutting was. So, then the next 
spring when we hit it with a dose of fertilizer, that first cutting was the best cutting we have ever had off this field. This field right here is probably 30. Uh, let's call it 35 acres. It uh, it uh, it made 96 round bales. It made 96 round bales. And these are your normal 60 to 62 inch round bales, pretty much. Maybe a little bit less. So that's the story behind this farm right here. The past few years. Uh, so enough of me jabbering on. I feel like this video is going to be over. What the fuck was that? Okay. Never mind. Sorry for the elf ball. I just dropped probably. If you did not hear it, don't complain. But I heard a weird noise. I don't know. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, this is a continuous video. It um, spans over three days. I uh, hope you made it to the end of it. It's just cutting hay. Uh, so, yeah. Catch y'all later.